The history of concrete starts with materials from the earth. It is here that we find the base ingredients of one of the most revolutionary materials in the history of mankind. Limestone, clay, sand, gravel, water. It was in an attempt to imitate nature that man created the first concrete, thus obtaining the very first pourable stone. One of the most significant concrete constructions is the cupola of the Pantheon in Rome. It is an incredible feat of engineering and has been standing for 20 centuries. In the 19th century, the invention of Portland cement revolutionized the technology of construction materials and transformed the concrete of the ancient Romans. Modern concrete was born. In this period, Europe saw its first buildings constructed with steel-reinforced concrete. Today, concrete is the most used construction material in the world. It is common to find mega structures like the bridge over the Rio Negro entirely built using this material. Let's discover the microstructure of our material. What makes it so strong? Concrete is a composite material where sand and gravel are bounded together by a cement paste made of cement and water. Cement powder and water react and harden through a process known as hydration. During hydration, the cement grains enter into contact with water and they begin to form a strong rods network structure, which is responsible for the final strength of concrete. If there is not enough water, concrete cannot be mixed and poured. If there is too much water, the grains will be too far apart and concrete will be porous and weak. If the ratio between water and cement is correct, the cement grains create strong bonds, both between each other and with sand and gravel. Sand and gravel must be present in the correct proportions in order to guarantee the strength of the concrete. A proper mixing is what guarantees that all the components are distributed uniformly. There are various errors that may occur during the process and that may compromise the quality of the concrete. If not enough water is used, concrete cannot be mixed and poured. If too much water is used, coarse aggregates settle to the bottom and concrete will not be homogeneous and thus weaker. Another error is that of mixing the concrete too long before using it. After about an hour, cement has already started to bind. Prolonged mixing breaks the bonds and compromises the final strength. These errors can reduce the load-bearing capacity of concrete. Mistakes in mix proportions and mixing procedure create porosity, which facilitates the corrosion of steel reinforcement. So what is the best way to batch concrete? There are various possibilities. Let's compare them in the construction of a building. You can make use of a concrete batching plant, an on-site plant, a manual concrete mixer, or batch your concrete using the Fiori solution. Here are some of the advantages of this method. Efficiency. When you rely on a concrete batching plant, the building site cannot get on with its work until the mixer truck arrives. And this can take a long time. The Fiori solution enables you to produce and cast concrete independently. This reduces the length of building time and increases productivity. Savings. Choosing to use a concrete batching plant involves many costs. The plant and its staff, electricity, the loader, the mixer truck and its driver, the petrol for its transport. The Fiori solution reduces these costs. Quality. 
When you rely on a manual concrete mixer, the component proportions are always approximate. This makes it impossible to certify the quality of the concrete. The Fiori Concrete Batching Vehicle is the first concrete production plant on wheels in the world and makes it possible to eliminate human error. Thanks to Fiori Batch Control, it is possible to produce concrete of a certifiable quality. Time When concrete is supplied by a concrete batching plant, it has to be transported to the building site. This time spent in transit can damage the concrete. In fact, if it is mixed for more than an hour, its quality is compromised. With the Fiori solution, the concrete is poured as soon as it is produced. The whole cycle lasts for a mere 12 minutes. Mobility When you rely on an on-site plant, pouring concrete on the go becomes problematic. The Fiori solution, on the other hand, makes it possible to realize projects that develop over great distances, producing concrete and advancing with the building site. The off-road characteristics of the Fiori vehicles make it possible for them to reach the position where the concrete is needed directly, reducing the need to use pumps and or auxiliary devices. Sustainability Concrete batching plants give off large amounts of carbon dioxide because of their production methods and also because of the road transport they require. The Fiori concrete batching vehicle can be used without the need for special permits. In fact, it is the only one in the world that makes it possible for you to produce quality concrete in areas demanding low levels of environmental impact. There are so many good reasons for choosing Fiori. Change the way you think about concrete. Join the Fiori Concrete Revolution.